Howdy gamers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew. Today we're gonna to be looking once again at the RTX 4070 Super, this time at the intended resolution of this card of 1440p. I anticipate this is gonna go a lot smoother than the 4K gameplay we got. But anyway, if you like the video and you wanna support the channel, please remember to like and subscribe and let's just get right into it. Our PC specs for today are the 7600X, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 CL30, and resizable bar is on. All right, here we go once again in Cyberpunk. I'm actually really looking forward to this one today because doing the 4K stuff was just kind of a drag. It just, it didn't work super well. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with 1440p either. But 4K is just nice to have if you can do it. And the settings I chose for it were honestly kind of a lot. So, so we're gonna start off at the ultra preset. We're gonna turn off any scaling and there we go. So this is 1440p ultra no upscaling and how much better is this <laughs> i mean it's not even uh, <laughs> it's not it's not even a question we're in the 90s truly if you didn't want to upscale at all and just want to play at 1440 like this at ultra settings like this is terrific there is nothing wrong with this and i i have a feeling this is going to be our the totality of our experience with the 4070 Super. It's just gonna kick ass on any, <laughs> on any kind of 1440p, I'm guessing. Obviously with ray tracing, I figure that we're gonna need some upscaling for that, obviously, but that's really not any kind of issue at all. You, you really do expect that. But I am guessing we're going to be able to get reasonable <laughs> reasonable reasonable uh, frame rates and really good visuals no matter what settings we use at 1440p and I, I'm guessing we're even going to be able to do RT overdrive so let's go to RT ultra and let's turn off scaling just to start with and once again this is RT ultra with no upscaling and yeah we're in the 40 so like even with RT at 1440p we are significantly ahead of where we were without RT at 4K. Like we were, we were like at 30 to 35, but yeah, we are, we, and, and it also like just, this feels pretty good. Like it doesn't feel laggy or anything like that. It doesn't feel like it's chugging, like it kind of did at 4K. Since we're still at ultra, let's just turn on some DLSS quality and see what we can get up to and this is RT Ultra and man this is a good experience this is a really good experience hey ah. <laughs> stop <laughs> yeah so this is great RT Ultra DLSS quality awesome freaking awesome and let's go ahead and uh, let's turn on our NVIDIA overlay here because let's just see how much more we can do with this. And let's turn on rake reconstruction. That didn't flip on automatically for some reason. But let's just see. Wow. So, and we were starting at like a reasonable frame rate in about the 70s. So now, so now the experience with frame generation is really good and I think this is where frame generation shines it's not to get you from like 30 FPS to uh, 60 or whatever it's to take you from an already good frame rate like 60 or 70 to uh, into the 100 and now that and now this is awesome now this is just an awesome experience it's an awesome experience and looks looks terrific and plays terrific. Oh my god, my car. <laughs> this car finally. Finally bit it does. Stop it. Blow up. Yes. <laughs> oh man. It's so bad. What what car is gonna blow up now? I hear a beep. Okay, we got a cop car. <laughs> it's 
busted out. Well, I don't know what's beeping over there. I thought the beeps were for, uh... All nearby units, we have a cold Civilian is on Okay. <laughs> Let's try RT Overdrive. Let's just start with frame generation off and start at DLSS quality, because I think that's going to give us a good uh, baseline to work with to see where we're at. Man, is this really without frame generation? Oh my god. Jeez, a wheeze, man. Man, this is really good. 53 FPS. And I think, you know, I think this is a little low. Oh, man. <laughs> I think this is maybe a little bit low to uh, do frame generation, but it's bo this is borderline. So let's just try it. We were in the 50s, but our latency was up at like in the 40s. So once we tick this on, it's going to be a lot higher. So let's see. And, whoa. Oh, motion blur. I was, uh, sometimes like, it ends up looking like a real blurry kind of painting. <laughs> and you know, this isn't bad. And I, you know, I feel like it starts to look a little bit like an oil painting at, at these settings, but it's not too bad. And the latency is pretty good. This is definitely playable. And you're in the 80s at 1440p RT overdrive. If we wanted even more, let's drop down to balanced and just see what happens. And now, and you know, that dropped our latency a little bit, but, but I don't think it's um, dramatically different than DLSS quality. Unless I had them side by side, it'd be really difficult for me to tell between DLSS quality and balanced, if I'm being quite honest. And we're up over 100 frames per second. Like, so if you, <laughs> with good latency and good everything, it's just, a, um, this is pretty good. This is just pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, so let's move on to the next game. All right, here we are back in Alan Wake 2. Let's just take a look at our settings real quick. We are at 1440. We are not doing any upscaling, no frame generation yet. We're gonna start off on the high quality preset with no ray tracing yet. Let's just take a look around and see what it looks like. And yeah, so man, just the difference from 4K to 1440p is so amazing performance-wise on this card. It's really stunning. I guess, well, let's see if we can go over here. <laughs> I don't think I've been around here at night, but everything looks very cool. I just don't know if, uh, man, this looks really cool. I think back in the town will be a little bit better. And since everything's wet, we'll have some nice lighting and reflections out here, I think since there's a little bit more light. Let's go ahead. I mean, we're around 60, a perfectly playable experience. But just for the heck of it, if we wanted to have an even higher frame rate experience, and let's turn on our NVIDIA overlay. Let's turn on frame generation while we were around 60 and just see if that pops us up. And it sure as heck does. Wow. And now we're doing really good. Once again, this is no ray tracing. This is high preset, no ray tracing, DLAA at the native resolution, and frame generation. So this is kind of a, an interesting way to play the game. And you can see here where those reflections go. You can see how they are screen space right now. So they disappear. <laughs> It's pretty, I always find this interesting to see. Once someone pointed this out to me, I I always saw it and I kind of cursed whoever first showed that to me because then I could never unsee it. <laughs> so 
while we're sitting here, let's go ahead and let's turn off frame generation and let's turn on low ray tracing. And that also does not involve reflections. So one, I, I, I do feel like having RT low is a critical part because of the screen space, ambient occlusion, because I think it kind of can, especially in the brighter shots, it can look kind of gnarly. It can look gnarly without the um, ray traced ambient occlusion. My last video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, I had a, a really good example of how low ray tracing was really superior in one example, but this particular particular example is not so much, <laughs> but that's okay. So we're at about 40. Let's see if we can improve that. Let's go to DLSS quality and see how much of a jump we get. We get a big jump. We get a real big jump. And yeah, and suddenly this becomes like a pretty awesome experience. And even, it's interesting, and this is kind of a little heavy, a heavy little area over here. But it's interesting how our latency is still pretty high here. And we haven't even done frame generation yet. It doesn't, it doesn't feel too, it doesn't feel like too bad, but it just, it just is kind of like a slow, res slowly responding game. What happens if we do turn on frame generation? Once again, this is 1440 DLSS quality high preset RT low, and now we've got frame generation going on. And see, that didn't even seem to affect our latency, and it doesn't feel any different. It just has higher frame rates. So I wonder what is, I honestly wonder what's up with that. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Let's go up to the next level here, and let's stay at DLSS quality. We'll turn off the frame generation. Let's see if we can get all the way up to the high RT preset. And yeah, it looks like we're in business with that. We're definitely in business with this. Wow, this is great. So DLSS quality at 1440p, high preset, high RT preset. And I'm, I'm wondering how this little sign looks now. And man, the game looks so, it looks so good. Every, and everything is, everything is different about this. Like with the RT reflections, it's just the whole, the whole thing is different. And the lighting, oh man, it looks so good. So yeah, the whole thing is different when you add in the RT reflections. And yeah, once again, you can see that the, <laughs> the reflections now don't go away. They're just there. In the puddle, you can see the kind of wet street looks really good. So let's see DLS, let's see DLSS frame generation added on top of this and see if our latency goes up. We were in the 70s. And no, we didn't particularly go up again. No. It is still in the 70s. So that's that is interesting, isn't it? And of course you can see, continue to see the reflection. That's in that is so interesting that frame generation doesn't seem to have a latency hit because it was already kind of high latency with DLSS. I wonder if that's an intentional choice to do that by the developers. But why would they want to make their game have a higher latency if you don't have frame generation? I don't know. All I know is that all these settings feel really, really good so I don't see any reason. If you have a 4070 Super and a 1440p display, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't play at all high settings with DLSS quality and frame generation. It's just really good. So this is, uh, this is awesome. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> all right, here we are back in Spider-Man. <laughs> and I'm glad to be at 1440p because everything was just a little bit janky at 4K. So let's just see, man. Already. What? Yeah. Oh, and we got to look at our settings. So we are at 1440p. We have got no frame generation, no scaling, and we are at the very high preset. And we are getting, man, it's just, it's amazing to me how much 
4K makes it, uh, how, how much of an issue 4K makes. You need so much more horsepower, especially in these uh, newer sort of games. It's like, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> so yeah, this is great. We're in the 170s, almost 200 frames per second. And it was truly janky at 4K. It was just like unstable, it wasn't great, and now look at it. Now it's beautiful. So there's not there's not even any reason to do any upscaling or anything. The only thing to do would be like DLA if you wanted to, and that probably would look really good. Let's let's take let's just take a look at it. I like the menus in these games because you can actually see the the differences. Now, a lot of times for me with TAA. It, it obviously does a really good job smoothing things out. It makes things very smooth, and it makes them smooth to a point where um, you can lose some fine detail. So when we switch to DLAA, you can see, especially like if you look at the windows, the areas around the window, it's going to be really hard to see on YouTube with YouTube compression, but what I'm seeing here is that DLAA you can see a little bit more jaggies in the geometry, but you also see more defined details. But let's see if that has any effect on our frame rate really at all. And yeah, yeah, I think it does. Let's, let's try that one more. Let's go back and see. Man, it's hard to compare one to one, isn't it? So we were at like 180 right there. And we're like 150, 160. yeah, it's a little, I think it's a bit of a hit. I'm going to say it's a bit of a hit, but not that much. And at this high frame rate, it's a matter of taste. It's a matter of taste if you like it or not. Let's keep on DLAA because I think it looks pretty good. And then let's turn on ray tracing and let's just go for high. Let's just go for high everything. Yeah, and this was, this was a mess. This was a mess at 4K. It really wasn't very, very nice. And let's go back to our areas that we were kind of in. And we're dropping here this time, but we're dropping into like, oh, hello. We're dropping into the 80s and stuff. <laughs> oh, this is cool, okay. We get to see a little bit of a cut scene here. So yeah, we're in the hundreds. This looks super good. Can I change? Oh, I can change settings in, in here as well, which is cool. What else do we have to do? This plays really well. Um, I think the only other thing, let's try frame generation and let's turn on our uh, little latency counter. Let's turn on frame generation without any other kind of upscaling. So we stay, so we stay at 1440 and let's just see what that gets us. I feel like this is a game where you don't necessarily want super high latency, but it's in, it's like around 40, but we're getting 160 something FPS. Cool. So um, let's just see how this feels. Welcome to just the facts with me. We have a bit of latency. And then the other thing is, this is really such a fast paced game that it ends up looking kind of weird with frame generation. So instead of that, let's turn off frame generation and let's do some DLSS at quality. And let's see if we can have a low latency experience without any weird um, graphical things and have it look good, and it does. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. This is, uh, this is definitely, this is how I would play it. This is absolutely how I would play it. Let's make our way over here. And I haven't played this game yet. I played the heck out of the first Spider-Man, and it's, it's such a good game. And I haven't played Spider-Man 2 either, but I, I'd like to play this. So yeah, obviously, this is just good. <laughs> I feel like this is boring because it's just really good. But let's go up here and just see what this looks like up here. Yeah. Because coming up here at 4K, that it, I think there was just so much going on. It just couldn't handle it. And it was, it was like you could be in the 80s down here and 90s at 4K. But once you got up here, we were in like the 50s and 40s. And yeah, I think this is the way to play. <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff. Good commentary from me too. 
So let's move on to the next one. <laughs> this was a success. And yeah, here's one that was really broken in the 4K video. It's Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> I love. I guess I love Insomniac games. What can I say? Now I have a feeling this is gonna be real good. This is gonna be real good. Oh, and we're back here again. Let's see what our settings are. We are at 1440. No frame generation. No upscaling. TAA. Very high preset. No ray tracing thus far. So yeah, <laughs> this just this didn't work great at 4K. Even at, even at these basic settings, it didn't work super great at 4K. Yeah, even yeah, even at even at the uh, without ray tracing, it didn't work amazing. It was just it was just kind of it was just kind of uh, janky, and it felt bogged down. Whoa! So let's take this as an opportunity to uh, turn on some ray tracing because you don't need any kind of upscaling at all doing that. But let's um let's do our little DLAA comparison. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's so it's such a hard it's such a hard call because the way I'm seeing it, like I, I think you might be able to see it up by those lights. There's little white lines where those lights are emanating from. And here's with DLAA, it's more jaggy. It's it's just more jaggy with DLAA, and I, I and yeah, TA in this circumstance seems to look a little bit better. But let's um since we're at such a high frame rate, let's just turn on the freaking ray tracing and let's just see what happens. And we're at 60, we're around 60 now. How is this a robot club? <laughs> is that the Phantom? <laughs> this game is so funny. Uh oh, okay, this is cool. This is a good opportunity for combat. And yeah, we're at 60. Let's turn on the uh, NVIDIA overlay here. And we've got like some latency. We've got a little bit of latency and we're in like the 50s and 60s. Man, that looks good. The fur and stuff. But yeah, we're dropping. So we're gonna use some DL. Uh, oh yeah, we can do it in the cutscene too. So let's turn on, let's turn on DLSS quality. And man, that just fixes us up. That fixes us right up. So I mean, this is just. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted, but this is uh this is really great. Where did he go? Oh, what? Yeah. Eh. <laughs> I mean, how can you ask for uh, how can you ask for more than that? Let's let's give it a go with the frame generation, and then clearly, like this was so broken. This was so broken at 4K. And now it is just amazing. And we're over 140 frames per second. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, you are doing good. You are looking so good. And there's nowhere you there's not even really anywhere to go from here. Oh, these puncher guys. <laughs> Let's just fight these guys at the Oh my god. <laughs> Do I not have any, um... Uh... Oh, I'm out of these. I'm out of those. Oh no, come on, man. Oh, did I get some? <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well this just works 
brilliantly, brilliantly on this on this uh, 4070 Super. So we just have one more title. Is that right? Just one more. So let's get to it. So here we are in Hogwarts Legacy. This game gave me absolute nightmares during the 4K testing. <laughs> it was so bad. It crashed so many times and it crashed. I even cut out a few times that it crashed because it was just too much. It was too much. So let's just check out our settings. We're at 1440. We're gonna stick at TAA. Can we visually see the difference in the menu? Maybe, but I can't really tell. So I'm just gonna leave it at, at high. We're not gonna do any upscaling yet. And then we're gonna be at all ultra to start off with. Um, no ray tracing yet. And of course, when we do wanna do ray tracing, we'll have to restart the game, which is a lovely feature that was implemented. Oh, we're already in Hogsmeade. Look at that. And you know, our typical lovely frame time graph that is just a mess. <laughs> you know, this is how running through here at these settings, I mean, running through here at any settings is equivalent to how everything felt at, during the 4K testing. It's just, it's just, it just does not feel good in this game, no matter what you do in this town. So, but we are in the 80s and let's just get out of here. But our frame rate is really good. So I'm guessing that everywhere is gonna be pretty good. And usually flying through here, yeah, this is where you get some drops. So we drop into the 60s. This is one of those games that kind of just like, it feels like it needs a little bit of upscaling to, to work properly. So this is 1440p ultra DLSS quality. Straight away we bump up into the 100s. Man, it seems like it seems like the 4070 Super. It is really impressive. Like I I had a I had a regular 4070. And this just seems like on another I wonder if I'm safe to explore in that. A whole it seems like a whole other level, really. Like um it didn't seem like I mean I ha I don't have a 4070 Ti Super, here, but it doesn't seem like that was quite as much of a gain as this card is. Are these enemies? Oh, these are those. Oh, those are those horse guys. Okay, I just want to find some enemies around. <laughs> so, yeah, we got like a really high frame rate, but let's turn on anyway. Frame generation, it seems like this game does do pretty well with frame generation. What was that? Hey, bro. <laughs> oh man, my guy's too Your strong. Days are over. But man, now we're in like the 170s, 180s. This is really impressive. And man, what a far cry from the 4K testing. Just a really amazingly better experience. Like, like so much better. You could hardly even qualify it in any way. You, <laughs> it's just really good. And now, and you know, when it's it's interesting when you enable frame generation, how it kind of smooths out the old. It kind of really smooths out the frame times, even through here. Like we've got, we've now got such headroom through here that we're mostly looking smooth. That's amazing. I can't even believe it. <laughs> I can't I can't even believe it. So let's let's turn on uh, let's turn on ray tracing. We're going to have to restart the game. So I will be and we'll turn it on ultra and I will be right back. All right, I am back and let's go back through, through our settings. I have a feeling there's a few things we wanna adjust and take a look at. We are gonna be at native resolution, 1440p, frame generation is gonna be off, and then we are at all ultra settings and ray tracing ultra. So this is gonna be native resolution, no frame gen, RT ultra. And yeah, as I thought, we are dipping down now. We're now in the 40s and we've got all our lovely spikiness back. But that's kind of what I was expecting. This is still smoother than anything was 
at 4K. Except for that, fr <laughs> except for that frame spike. Woo. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can improve things. Let's start by giving ourselves some DLSS. Ooh, did we crash? So <laughs> it's it's so crashy that game. It's so crashy with uh, with RT on. I'll get back in the game. All right, I'm back. We recovered from our crash. Let's see what settings took here. DLSS auto. Let's go to quality. We'll see if this crash. It seems like sometimes it seems like the DLS the S settings and messing around with them is sometimes what causes crashing in this game. All ultra settings once again, and RT on ultra. So let's see if we can avoid crashing. And yeah, giving us DLSS brought us into playable territory once again. And let's just turn on our latency counter in the upper right. Yeah, it, it seems like this is doing much, much better. And the thing in the thing is in this game as well, is that the ray tracing in this game isn't even that good. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's kind of like, it's kind of noisy and it's, it can, it can be overdone, especially inside Hogwarts. So, you know, you don't need to play with ray tracing on in this game, but we're just doing it for educational purposes. Now let's see, let's see if we can turn on frame generation without crashing. I'll be, I'll be freaking amazed if that is the case. And then we'll see if we can fly around. Yeah, we didn't crash yet. I think we might we might be safe. <laughs> if we crash, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> and on oh, I said it. I said I'm never playing this game again if it crashes. <laughs> But man, whatever, it, you know, and it, this computer's all stock, stock settings. So, so I don't know, I don't know what the problem is with that game or, or with my configuration. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, let's get some final thoughts on this. So the 4070 Super is a terrific 1440p card. I wanted to say a super 1440p card, that's true too, but it sounds kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. It handles everything thrown at it. The NVIDIA features complement the card extremely well, and for the most part take you from playable territory into high frame rate gameplay territory. So as far as 1440p GPUs go, this is like pretty much where it's at. I guess you could go with a 40, 4070 Ti, or a 4070 Ti Super, but you know, maybe that would benefit you. Maybe you wouldn't crash in Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know. But as far as bang for the buck goes, this makes way more sense than the 4070 Ti or the 4070 Ti Super at 1440p. This is just a great card at this resolution. And also, you know, you have the 7800 XT out there. I just saw that it came in under MSRP for the first time, below $500. That's a really interesting card to look at, you know, if the price is right. And at below $500, you know, you can make an argument for that, especially if a ray tracing is not your biggest concern, you know. But this is a powerful card. They really did a good job with the 4070 Super. It's built for 1440p, not 4K as we've seen. And all I can say is it gets my recommendation for 1440p. It's really good. If you want all of the Nvidia features, they're right here in this card. You know, it's obviously expensive. It's a $600 card, but you get a lot for your buck with this one. And I think that's going to about do it for me in this video. So I'll see you next time. Please remember to like and subscribe if you liked it. And yeah, see you again next time.